Sean Davis is the CEO of The Federalist, and he joins us now. Sean, great to see you this evening. Pretty stunning information. I do wonder, Sean, will it break through as the public sees this information? Will anyone finally see the light, and will anyone be held accountable? Unfortunately, I don't think anyone will be held accountable because this is the end of the, the process conducted by John Durham, not the beginning. Uh, he, he indicted who he was going to indict. Um, the matter now is in the hands of Congress and how they plan to do oversight. Um, but, but you raise a really good question. Will people see this? And, and I worry that for many people they won't because uh, the, the news media, the corporate media, seems to believe that their job is to cover stories with the pillow until they stop breathing, uh, a, a line taken from my friend uh, Iowa Hawk. And uh, if you made me put an over-under on the amount of time that the news networks are going to give this uh, tonight, I would set it at zero, and I would take the under, unfortunately. You know, Sean, I'm a little disheartened, even with the initial reporting of this story. The headline seems to be, even in... Even in um, platforms, on platforms, even in channels where it's discovered that there was absolutely no evidence for the crossfire hurricane investigation. But to me, as I look at this, it's not about there being a lack of evidence, but the total creation of evidence. It's a fake story. It's a hoax in which not just was it perpetuated by the media and the DNC, but the FBI. You, you nailed it, and that's the worst thing here. You, you kind of ex expect a political campaign to do dirty tricks. You kind of expect any more uh, the corrupt media to, to pull dirty tricks. You don't expect it from your government. And what happened here was our own government, our own federal law enforcement agency, perpetrated a hoax directed at conning and gaslighting the American people. And, and I think the most important thing you can gather from this report is that the FBI is a domestic terror organization. They use their power, they use their influence to try and lie, uh, uh, try to gaslight the American people, to try and rig an election. And I have a hard time looking at this and coming to any other conclusion than that the FBI has to be defunded, because this wasn't one or two rogue agents. This happened from the very top. This was directed from the very top all the way down, and it was a lie and a coup against our government, against our democracy, a term uh, Democrats love to use, perpetrated by our own government. Well, Sean, I'll tell you this. I would certainly agree that the FBI should be held accountable, looks to be culpable, and at a minimum, election interference. Sean Davis, the Federalist has been all over this, and we appreciate that. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you.